In this walkthrough video, we're going to go through the sidebar. This will be looking at the interface itself. In another video, we will go into more detail on the codex itself. There are three tabs in the sidebar, the codex, snippets, and chats. The codex needs a dedicated video. However, I will go through the parts of the interface that align with the snippets and the chat. In all three interfaces, you will see a search bar, a filter icon, a new entry snippet chat button, and a settings cog. In the search bar, you can search for names of your entries or anything within the entry or chat. So here we could go homes, and you see that anywhere that homes has been mentioned within, he appears. Uh, or if we likewise were looking in here, um, let's have a look for any mention of Watson. And we can see in these two snippets, Watson is mentioned. Likewise in the chat. You can also press clear to remove your search filter. In the snippets and chats, the filter icon can go by filtering has no content if you want to find empty snippets or chats that you might have set up but haven't written anything in. Um, you can search for if you have something that has been archived or not, and then you can clear your filters. For the codex, you have many more options, including whether the entry has a certain attribute like a thumbnail, description, if it's global, if it has additions. You can also search for if there is a specific tag on your codex entry or the type of entry it is, i.e. character location. Next to this is the new entry slash snippet slash chat button that opens up a pop-up of your new entry. You can choose to pin this new entry while working on it by typing something in and then pressing the pin icon and you can switch sides. This works exactly the same for chats and snippets. Finally, there is the cog icon. For chats and snippets, this enables you to export your entire library. For the codex, there are a few more options. You can also change the display mode from default to compact. Let me make this bigger for you. Uh, you can see here that everything has become much smaller. And then if we go back to default view, it's like this. Please note that the settings apply to your entire account and not just this novel. You can also choose whether your codex entries are sorted alphabetically or by the colors you associate with the entries. Um, there is no colors here. So I went and clicked on the codex entry, then the action menu, and I have two different colors. And then I sort by color. You can see that it's gone in order that the colors are displayed here. You can also configure your custom categories in the configuration tab. We will go into custom categories when we look at the codex in more detail. You can toggle whether entries are by default a series codex entry or a book codex entry. As with the display mode, this also applies to your entire account. Uh, you can also export your codex entries either by type or all of them at once. At the bottom of the sidebar, you can see your profile image, which opens up the same profile menu we went through in the home interface. A shortcut to the settings dialog box, a button to the prompts interface, an export button, and finally the save status. Hovering over this allows you to see when your work was last saved. Think of snippets as your essential notes. Brain dumps, kit bashing, research, and notes to self can all be stored here for easy access. Snippets can be starred by clicking this or pinned and see it appears here. And they can also be pinned to the sidebar for use with other interfaces within Novel Crafter. When you open up a snippet, you will see boxes to name your snippet and for you to write your snippet content. You can star or pin your snippet so that it's at the top of the list. And through the actions menu, you can archive or delete your snippet. The chat part of the sidebar is very similar to the snippets section. Like with snippets, you can open up a chat as a pop-up. You can pin them to the sidebar and move them from left to right. You can do a few more things, however. If you click here at the top, you can open up the thread so that it is in the main interface. 
and then you can close your little sidebar. If you're within a chat and you open up the actions menu, you can choose to start or pin the thread, copy the entire conversation in various formats and archive or delete the thread. A chat pinned in the sidebar or floating functions exactly the same as chat in the main interface. If you want to rename your chat, you will need to open up the thread and then you can name it here. If you have a chat already open up in full, you can easily split your view via the action menu as well. This way you don't need to hunt for it again. So if we go here, split, and then we can move into the plan interface without having to go via the sidebar. Thank you for watching. In the next video, we will go more in depth into the codex.